Hello and welcome to a new video about my temperature controller. Last time we finally managed to make the PID controller working, so this is working now, everything is fine. Today we want to make a little safety, a safety measure if the measure temperature is obviously wrong. Yeah? So we, if we cannot reach the temperature sensor, then we will turn off the heating. Okay? This is, this is a good idea, I would say. And then we also want to put something out on the serial monitor that we see the values and then maybe process them with some line drawing tool or something like that. So, first of all, we want to see if this uh, process temperature is working fine. Okay, so the process temperature um, I will also add the other temperatures in variables. Uh, so process, there's the process temperature, then we have long, we have the air temperature and we have the heat sink temperature, sink temperature. I will also read them here somewhere down, read them, I will read them. I will say air temp equals I will read it from the Pooh, where is this? Temp config, yeah. Air, correct index on the temperature, and then we are reading air temp sync, sync temp, and also this. So we are always reading all temperatures from all those sensors. Yeah. Good, so now we are reading all those temperatures uh, and then the process temp, that's, that's it, uh, that's, if this is wrong, everything else is wrong. So if process temp and if you have a look at this uh, DS18P20, yeah, there is a value, a default value, that's that. Yeah? If we cannot read something out of these uh, sensors, we will get this temperature. So minus, what is this actually? 123,456.78 degrees Celsius. I just selected a value, easy to remember, okay? And which will never occur. So if this is, this temperature, yeah, then it means something's wrong. Something's really wrong, okay? And the rest is only performed if the reading is correct. So if we have a correct reading, a correct value, or supposedly correct value, then we will we will put this out. And in other case, we will say a uh, correcting value equals zero. Okay, so then we put, we make simply nothing. Okay. Okay, so that's now for safety measures. Now everything should, should work as before. And now I only want to put something out and I do not want to put it out every cycle. I only want to put it sometimes. So I'll make another timeout. And I will say uh, uh, data to serial. Yeah? And this how many times I will make every, let's make it every, 500 milliseconds. 
Yeah. So twice a second, new data on the serial board. This is good. And we will, will produce this. In the end, we will produce this uh, if data to serial dot timed out timed out we will start over data to serial dot set now all right and we will make a serial dot print temperature I will make process temperature. This will need more often now. Heatsink temperature. Limited value is the limited output. Hmm. Now we should see all those values on the serial monitor at least. All right, now let's upload. Let's upload. I will already plug in the power source because I'm very confident this is working. Jack. Uploading. Do we get data? Yes, we get data, but I don't like this form of data. I will make here in the end print line and put out nothing so that we have an enter. Good. Huh? Or oh. you see, I just added this print line. So, let's see if it's now working. Okay, it is working. What's up with the temperature set point? Because why is it set to zero? And not and not, why is it not tracked? Why is it not tracked? Set point, I forgot to put out the set point. Temperature set point. And I also want to have this float divided by 100 so that we can, that we do not, that we can see. Okay, the real values and not not how we handle them in internally as integer. I want to see them here. Good. Uh, but the question still is, why is the temperature not, not changed? Why I cannot operate at all? Make another upload. Maybe it's too too much output. Here I added those floating. Now we should see. Yes, looking good. Why can't I operate? Ah, now I can operate. Now this is also working. Why is that? Yeah. Here we see something. If we, should, if we start the Arduino, yeah, then this, the Arduino IDE has some 
something inside which is uh, you know if we open this uh, tools serial plotter this is how it's called then hopefully <laughs> we see lions. We see lions. <laughs> Good, isn't it? It's the wrong naming. The set point and temperature is the same. I think this is correct. I think it's correct. Let's switch to BID control to, to determine. Ooh, this was this was not BID control. Huh? Make this here. Put this to the right, so that we can, oh, let's make this a small, small camera. Now, now we should be, should see what I'm doing here. Switch to BID control, set the set point to 30 degree as before, enter, and turn on the output. Okay, set point was, is going to 100 to 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 uh at the correcting the correcting value is increasing the actual temperature i don't know should react some at some point in time hopefully you see now we have lines now we have lines we just used the serial plotter from the arduino and this is working now we can adjust our our uh, controller. Yeah? Now we can adjust our control. Now we should see here. Yeah, this is the correcting value. Now we should see how this temperature is reacting. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, now with lines this now now we can say okay it's getting faster it's getting it's getting uh uh slower and so on it's still working hmm. afterwards i will also try what is happening if i simply unplug the sensor and you can simply try it yeah you see typical behavior of a BAD controller now that this is getting close it will already go down and you know there is this is where you have to select the correct values yeah? the correct parameters then this is working pretty nice Right now it's not working pretty nice. You will see there will be an overshoot. I have not changed the parameters. Yeah? But we see it's working. It's a PRD controller and it's working. Yeah. Yeah. I have already mentioned that the light controllers. Mm -hmm. Feedback controllers are actually... Ah, I like it. It's my, my field of profession, so why shouldn't I like it? Okay, this is happening now, and see what is happening if I unplug here, will you? Which I forgot. Ooh, it is <laughs> uh, the heatsink. I unplugged the heatsink. This is wrong, and we should do nothing at all. Plug it in the heatsink, so the other one is probably the... See what is happening there? Book! Ah, you see! Ha ha ha! This is cool! Huh? 
correcting value is minus now. Of course, yeah, the limited value is zero. So we are putting out something? No. No. Good. Plug it back in. What is happening? something really but at least it was safe yeah? at least it was safe because we simply did not heat or something like this something like this in reality we just turned off the heating and let it be and now what is happening now all right, uh, after failure case, maybe we could tune it a little bit, but I don't, I'm satisfied with that. I'm satisfied with that. At least if a failure occurs, an error occurs, it will not burn itself. Something like this. Good. Well, now it's, now it's time to to extend a little bit the hardware setup, you know, put the casing around this. I already printed some stuff. Uh, I designed already the casing. Here, this is already the first uh, the first you know outcome of this design uh, that we can we can see. Uh, now it's cooling already. Uh, should cool, yeah. it's much too hot. Yeah, it's working, it's working. Yeah, so this is already the outcome of my design. This should fit here, yeah. And I have a casing for this, this power supply and so on. And this should also fit somewhere inside this casing. Yeah, I will, I will show you next video how I think it should look like. And... Then we'll see. Then we print the stuff, takes a while, and extend this more and more so that we have a nice shiny case around this that we do not see this wood. And next video design of the cage, of the, of the case, cage, case. Yeah, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.